Hi, welcome to another video. So, the time has come. When I created the first video about stopping the use of cursor, back when the cursor boom was trending, I got hit with a lot of criticism from the cursor fanboys. But guess what? Cursor has now majorly let down all of its users. Yes, cursor is no longer unlimited, and the trend of switching away from cursor is now at its peak. For those who don't use cursor, like me, you might be a little confused about what Cursor has done. So, basically, Cursor has introduced a new $200 plan and has made the $20 plan basically unusable. They've rate-limited the model requests under the hood without any clear limit. You can basically send about 4 Claude 4 requests before getting rate-limited, and the Cursor subreddit is flooded with users asking for refunds and complaining. And guess what? I called it way back when these people were subscribing because they put in VC money, make you addicted to the software, and then increase the prices tenfold, which is not good at all. So today, I'm going to refresh the Stop Using Cursor Guide with all the new practices you can use to get even better performance than Cursor for a lower cost, and even free at times if you're willing to deal with some quirks. Now. Let's start with three things. First is the editor. There are two things I can recommend. You can either use Z or VS Code with some plugins. Z is much faster, quite accurate, and well-made, but you might feel a bit locked in due to not having all the plugins and features. But if you're willing to trade off some plugins for hyper-fast speed and low memory footprint, you can use Z along with your own API keys and everything. Anyway, I'll mainly be focusing on the VS Code side of things. So, head over to the VS Code site and download it as well. VS Code comes built in with GitHub Copilot, which is good but not great. So, don't use that. Now let me show you the exact steps, but before we do that, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-40, Claude 3.7 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.0 Flash, all in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly, with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now, back to the video. First of all, We'll need agentic capabilities, and for that, I recommend using RuCode or KiloCode. RuCode is a really good AI coder that is a fork of Klein with a ton of features added on top. But you do need to use multiple providers with it and set up the API key. You can use OpenRouter with it to have one credit balance, but OpenRouter charges you some margin on the per token cost, which makes it a bit more expensive in the long run. So, instead of that, you can also use KiloCode, which is basically a fork of RuCode with some more quality of life features added on top. It gives you $20 in free credits. And even after that, if you recharge, you are not charged any margin and you get the full credit you pay for, which is awesome. The thing with these open source options is that you have a ton of choices, which is always great because you can try and test what suits you best. Anyway, for setup, just head over to the settings and create a new profile. Each profile will contain all the API settings that you can switch between easily. In RuCode, I use Requesty as the provider because it is better than OpenRouter and has a lot of customizations you can do, like changing system prompts for each request and things like that. So, I select that and then choose the model I want to use. Talking about models, there are three models you can choose from. Claude 4, O3, and Gemini. O3 will be the cheapest, Claude will be the most expensive, and Gemini will be in between. For myself, I use Gemini 2.5 Pro 
because I think it is better at front-end tasks and everything. And the one million token context is something you can't go back from, especially with Klein. So, I use that, but it's your preference for what you want to use. Now, once that is set up, there are a ton of things you can configure here, but there's no point in me telling you about all of them, because the default is generally the best. But if you're a tweaker, you have a sea of options here. Anyway, now just head back to the main interface, and you can send your prompts and use it accordingly. It is super good and works well. But now, apart from this, you also need autocomplete. For autocomplete, if you're using Kilo code, you can just go to the settings and enable the Kilo complete feature from the advanced settings. It will start to use Gemini Flash as the autocomplete provider, and it's probably the best one you'll see as of now. But you can also use another thing that is free and great, which is Gemini Code Assist. Gemini Code Assist is simple, made by Google, and gives you 6,000 chat completions per day, as well as 240 chat engagements per day, which is great. The chat feature also has agent mode now, which you can use if you want. Anyway, this works well for autocomplete. You can just install it, and it will get activated automatically, which is awesome. Apart from this, you also get agent mode, and there's also one more thing I want to talk about, and that is the CLI. I think that Claude Code itself, with the $200 plan, is super worth it and really good. But if you're not willing to spend that much, you can also use Gemini CLI. It's quite good, free, and comes with some good limits, which is awesome. Gemini Code Assist also has the same free limits. Also, with RuCode and similar tools, you can use Gemini 2.5 Pro for free, as Gemini 2.5 Pro has a free tier that gives you about 200 requests per day or so, but it can be slow at times in the free tier. So, there's that. This is mainly how you can set up a cursor alternative that is not only cheaper, but also better, and you are in control of all tasks, which is quite awesome if you ask me. I use it daily, and haven't used Cursor at all in my lifetime. I have used Windsurf, and I really like it because of its UI, but nothing can beat this RuCode setup for me. So, go ahead and use it all you want. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.